This teardown features a BYD in-car pre-installed wireless charging module. It has a single charging pad. The maximum wireless charging power is 50 watts. The metal backplate is secured with screws. The front features a plastic housing. The power connection terminal is located at the top of the back cover. The cooling fan is located at the bottom. A close-up of the fastening screws. The length of the module is about 132.8 mm, 5.23 inches. The width is about 71.9 mm, 2.83 inches. The thickness is about 35 mm, 1.38 inches. That's how big it is in the hand. The weight is about 224 grams, 7.9 ounces. Next, let's take it apart to see its internal components and structure. Remove the screws and the back cover. The fan is connected via a connector. The fan is from McFan, model YBH5515C05, with a specification of 5 volts 0.45 amps. Inside the metal casing, there are thermal pads. The PCBA module is secured inside the casing with screws. The charging coil is connected via soldering, with smooth and full solder joints. Remove the PCBA module and the wireless charging coil. The charging coil is fixed on the metal shielding. The coil is wound with enamel-coated wire, and the bottom is equipped with a magnetic insulation sheet. The leads are insulated with heat shrink tubing. The front of the PCBA module features a power input socket, filter inductors, filter capacitors, a synchronous buckboost controller, synchronous buckboost MOSFETs, alloy inductors, a wireless charging master control chip, a wireless charging power stage chip, and the main control MCU. The back side of the PCBA is soldered with the coil switching MOSFETs and the CAN transceiver. Close up of the power input socket. The input TVS diode is from STEMI, marked with YK, model SMAJ30CA, with a clamping voltage of 30 volts. It is used for input over voltage protection and comes in a DU214 AC package. The MOSFET used for power control is from NCE, model NCAP4040Q. It is ACQ101 certified, and NMOS with a voltage rating of 40 volts, a RDS, on, of 7.7 milliohms, and comes in a PDFN 3.3 by 3.38L package. The 10 microhenry alloy inductor is used for input filtering. There are a total of 7 filter capacitors, each with a specification of 35 volts, 100 microfarads. These 5 capacitors are used for input filtering, while the 2 capacitors on the left are used for output filtering. The synchronous buck boost controller is from Southchip, model SC8701Q, which is an automotive-grade AEC Q100 Level 1 version, supporting an operating temperature range of minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. The SC8701Q is a synchronous four-switch buck boost controller that effectively regulates the output voltage, whether the input voltage is higher, lower, or equal to the output voltage. It supports a wide input and output voltage range, from 2.7 volts to 36 volts for input and 2 volts to 36 volts for output. The driver voltage is set to 10 volts to fully leverage the external MOSFETs for maximum efficiency. The switching frequency can be set between 200 kHz and 600 kHz and supports dynamic adjustment of output voltage and current limit. It also includes input and output over current protection and over temperature protection to ensure system safety. The chip operates within a temperature range of minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius and comes in a QFN32 package. The synchronous buck boost MOSFETs are from NCE, model NCAP4040Q. The 4.7 microhenry alloy inductor is used for buck boost conversion. The current sensing resistor is used for input current detection. The other current sensing resistor is used for output current detection. The output filter capacitors have a specification of 35 volts, 100 microfarads. The four MLCC filter capacitors are connected in parallel. The wireless charging master control chip is from CPS, model CPSQ8100. It is a highly efficient and highly integrated wireless charging transmitter chip that supports 50 watts proprietary protocol wireless charging. The chip integrates a 32-bit MCU core, full bridge driver circuits, Q-factor detection circuitry, and modulation demodulation circuitry, minimizing the need for external components. The internal memory supports read-slash-write protection and features I2C and UART communication interfaces. It includes three half-bridge drivers, which can be configured for synchronous buck or synchronous boost operation. 
Additionally, the chip provides hardware overvoltage slash undervoltage protection, overcurrent protection, and overtemperature protection. It meets AEC Q100 Grade 2 certification and comes in a QFN48 package. The wireless charging power stage chip is from Nuvolta, model NU8060QH. It is a highly integrated, high-efficiency, and high-precision wireless charging transmitter chip that meets AEC Q100 Grade 1 standards. The chip supports a wide input voltage range, with a recommended maximum operating voltage of 27 volts and a transient voltage tolerance of up to 36 volts. A single chip can support up to 80 watts wireless charging for the RX load, enabling high-power wireless fast charging. The NU8060QH integrates a 12 milliohm low-resistance full bridge and, compared to existing products on the market, offers exceptional thermal performance. It also integrates many essential features for wireless charging applications, such as full bridge drive, 5 volts LDO, high-precision current sensing, Q-factor detection, and internal communication demodulation functions. The chip comes in a QFN21 package. The chip's power supply input is filtered using MLCC capacitors. 21 microhenry alloy inductors are used for output filtering. There are resonant capacitors placed between the inductors. The MOSFET used for switching the resonant capacitor is from NCE, model NCA6025Q. It is ACQ101 certified, and NMOS with a voltage rating of 60 volts, RDS, on, of 12 milliohms, and comes in a PDFN 3.3 by 3.38L package. Close-up of the two NPO resonant capacitors. The MOSFET used for wireless charging coil switching is from NCE, model NCAP15 and D10AG. It is ACQ101 certified, a dual NMOS with a voltage rating of 100 volts, a RDS, on, of 12.5 milliohms, and comes in a PDFN5 by 6 8L package. The other MOSFET for coil switching has the same model. The synchronous buck chip is from diodes, marked with TG, model AP64060. It is a synchronous buck converter with an input voltage range of 4.5 volts to 40 volts. The chip integrates the MOSFETs and supports an output current of up to 600 milliamps, with a switching frequency of 2 MHz. It comes in a TSOT26 package. The 10 microhenry inductor is used in conjunction with the buck converter. The regulator chip is from TI, marked with VCIQ, model TLV73333P. It supports an input voltage range of 1.4 volts to 5.5 volts, with an output current of 300 milliamps and an output voltage of 3.3 volts. The chip features power supply rejection, PSRR, and comes in an SOT23 package. The MCU is from ChipOn, model KF32A146KQT. It is an automotive-grade 32-bit MCU, featuring a high-performance Kung Q32 core with a clock speed of up to 72 MHz. The MCU is equipped with 256 kilobytes of flash memory, 48 kilobytes of RAM with ECC, error correction code, protection, and 16 kilobytes of ROM. It supports various interfaces such as SPI, I2C, USART, and CAN, and operates within a voltage range of 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. The chip comes in an LQFP64 package. Close up of the 16 MHz clock crystal oscillator. The CAN transceiver is from SIT, model SIT1043Q. It is ACQ100 certified and compatible with ISO 11989-2-2016 and SEJ2284-1 to SEJ2284-5 standards. The transceiver features low standby power consumption and a standby mode, with support for both remote and local wake-up functions. It supports a voltage tolerance of plus or minus 58 volts and is suitable for MCU applications with a 3.3 volts or 5 volts power supply. The chip comes in an SOP14 package. Close up of the cooling fan connector. The fan power supply is equipped with a resettable fuse. Well, those are all components of the BYD50 Watts in-car pre-installed wireless charging module.